Forbidden quotes by Confucius, which are worth listening to in youth, so as not to regret in old age. On the Ancient Quotes channel, It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Real knowledge is to know. The extent of one's ignorance. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. The will to win. The desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation there is sure to be failure. The cautious seldom err. When anger rises, think of the consequences. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Never give a sword to a man who can't dance. Humility is the solid foundation of all virtues. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Silence is a true friend who never betrays. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other, and correct them in myself. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. I hear, I know, I see, I remember. I do, I understand. To be wronged is nothing, unless you continue to remember it. Study the past, if you would divine the future.
We should feel sorrow, but not sink under its oppression. Do not impose on others. What you yourself do not desire. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. You cannot open a book without learning something. To see the right and not to do it is cowardice. The expectations of life depend upon diligence, the mechanic that would perfect his work, must first sharpen his tools. The superior man thinks always of virtue, the common man thinks of comfort. A gentleman would be ashamed, should his deeds, not match his words. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? The object of the superior man is truth. A youth, when at home, should be filial and, abroad, respectful to his elders. He should be earnest and truthful. He should overflow in love to all and cultivate the friendship of the good. When he has time and opportunity, after the performance of these things, he should employ them in polite studies. Learning without thought is labor lost, thought without learning is perilous. If we don't know life, how can we know death? They must often change, who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. To practice five things under all circumstances, constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. I want you to be everything that's you, deep at the center of your being. The superior man acts before he speaks, and afterwards speaks according to his action. Death and life have their determined appointments, riches and honors depend upon heaven. To see and listen to the wicked, is already the beginning of wickedness. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. It is more shameful to distrust our friends, than to be deceived by them. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. To rule a country of a thousand chariots, there must be reverent attention to business and sincerity economy and expenditure, and love for men, and the employment, of the people at the proper seasons. When you know a thing, to hold that you know it, and when you do not know a thing, to allow that you do not know it, 
This is knowledge. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. Ability will never catch up with the demand for it. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. Virtue is not left to stand alone. He who practices it will have neighbors. To see what is right, and not to do it is one of courage, or of principle. To go beyond is as wrong as to fall short. Faced with what is right, to leave it undone shows a lack of courage. The superior man understands what is right, the inferior man understands what will sell. Instead of being concerned that you have no office, be concerned to think how you may fit yourself for office. Instead of being concerned that you are not known, seek to be worthy of being known. I will not be concerned at other men's not knowing me, I will be concerned at my own want of ability.